This video is by no means a complete review of the MacBook Pro. I've had this for a few weeks now, but I have a lot of thoughts that I wanted to drop in this video. I have absolutely loved owning this over the past few weeks. This is the 14 inch Space Gray MacBook Pro and it is absolutely fantastic. There's a few things that I really love about owning this particular device. One of which is the display itself. I opted for the 14 over the 16 inch one because of its portability. This is the best size laptop you could possibly choose in my estimation. That being said, I'm one who loves the smaller devices on Apple's lineup. I'm an iPad mini user and an iPhone 12 mini user. This is is a nice big display and a very good one at that. At 120 hertz refresh, it has Apple's ProMotion display and it is buttery smooth. Of course, Apple has brought that to their Pro lineup all the way from the iPhone uh, 14 Pro to the iPad Pro up to the MacBook Pro, but it is a very good refresh rate, a very good display. It also has a mini LED display, so the blacks on this display look really, really nice. It's something that the iPhone does really well with its OLED display, and only the 12.9 inch iPad Pro comes close to looking this good. When I first got this, what blew my mind was the continuity features that are now featured on the Mac. It's been so long since I've had an up-to-date Mac that it's just crazy the, how much has changed. I was really excited to try Sidecar, but I had forgotten that Apple had made a way that you can use the keyboard and trackpad from your MacBook Pro across iPads and other Macs. I also found out that if you have a MacBook Pro and you have someone else in the family, like my mom who has a MacBook Air, you can cast what you are doing on your display to the other Macs in the house. So recently we have been shopping for a car, my mom's got to get a new car, and we have been casting different things we find to each other's MacBooks. It's super, super cool. You just go into Control Center and just like you would with an Apple TV, you can cast onto each other's displays really convenient. I actually have found that feature to be super useful lately because when we find something that we think might be a good deal, we can share it with each other. have been using this Mac to try out different things that I have not dreamed about running software such as Photoshop and Lightroom that I have wanted to try for a really long time. I have been using Photoshop beta with generative AI, utilizing it for that generative fill feature. So freaking awesome. I might even do a video where I try using AI for different computational photography type things. It's really neat. I have tried it out. I have showed it to friends. It's just a cool thing. Overall, the performance of this MacBook is another level, and this is just the M2 Pro. Uh, the, there's the M2, the M2 Pro, the M2 Max, and the M2 Ultra, so it even gets better than this. Overall, I have been blown away by so many things with this machine, including the fact of how great it sounds. It's just a pleasure to listen to music and videos and watch YouTube. Just laying back and using this as a casual consumption device is not something that I anticipated doing. I really figured this would be for work and I would keep my iPad for doing iPad things. And that is true. That is definitely something that has held up as a true statement for me. I definitely use my iPad for things like browsing casually or watching videos, but I also gravitate towards this. This will be sitting around and it's become a great device to grab and go and it's just an everything machine. And that's been super, amazing uh, in just using it overall. So for this video, like I said, it is by no means a full review, but those are my initial thoughts on the MacBook Pro. If there's something you'd like to see in a future video, let me know, but hopefully you found this one interesting and I'll catch you in the next one. Thanks for watching.